Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Child, if Why Did I Get Married was a person, this would be it. Mark ain't a bit more into Kenya than I am into this cold weather. And let me tell you something, honey. I like my weather 85 degrees or higher. Now, I'm not the biggest Kenya Moore fan. Only because she's the type of person that can dish it but can never take it. But in all honesty, my heart cries out for Kenya Moore this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, we've seen Kenya go through numerous failed relationships right in front of our eyes. But when I saw her and Mark get married in those photos, I said, Sis got her a old fine piece of light skin, pretty head man, honey. Bro might be fine, but he looks like he wouldn't touch her with another man's piece. Wacker. And that's why I said I am truly embarrassed for Miss Kenya Moore. Now, Kenya Moore and Mark announced that the latter part of last year that the two were going through a divorce and cited irreconcilable differences. Same thing that all of the celebrities cite. However, just a couple of weeks ago, Mark and Kenya were spotted in an airport holding hands. It seemed like the two were trying their hardest to work on their very troubled relationship. Or at least Kenya was working on it. I don't know about your boy, Mark. If people don't like him. I'm gonna keep it 100. Yeah. The way he talks to you, we know mm -hmm. that it can be edited and changed yeah. and moved around. But the way he talks to you, people are like, right. they see a different Kenya, but they also see a man who maybe doesn't like his wife. Well, no, I don't think it's ever a matter of liking his wife because he wouldn't be trying to um, get back together. I think that's the fodder that they've added in with all of that, just as an insult to me, like, oh, you know, even your own husband. But what you see is someone struggling with things within themselves. Mm. That has nothing to do with me. However, just recently, Kenya decided to take the name Daily off of her Twitter and Instagram handles. Kenya, who previously went by Kenya Moore Daily, is now going by just Kenya Moore. Although her bio reads wife, mother, actor, film producer, writer, so on, so on, she's still listing herself as a wife. However, she has taken the name Daily off of her handle. And of course, that's Mark's last name. Now, a lot of people are relating it to this upcoming episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where Mark went off the deep end and said some things that he probably should not have said being mic'd. Now you enjoying the ride. I hate it. Oh, no, I hate it. Everybody knows that. End it. Now my quick question to you all, who is really shocked by Mark saying that he wasn't happy being married to Kenya? I know I wasn't. Now we've seen her get disrespected by Mark time and time again on this show and he doesn't really seem like he's on her side. He's on whoever's side is against his wife, Nene. I've never seen a husband and wife go back and forth like that. I just don't feel like this man is into this woman. Something happened behind the scenes where she's embarrassed him and I believe that he's trying his best to embarrass her on this show and he's actually doing a good job of it. Now, now, I personally doubt that it was Kenya seeing the preview for this episode that actually made her take down Mark's last name. Now, from what I hear, they get these episodes about four days before we get to see it. So it's true, Kenya may have gotten the episode yesterday or a day or two before. However, I don't feel like this was it, y'all. The reason being is the day that they filmed this event, the blog started to go crazy. I even did a story on it back in September. Radar Online reported that Kenya was aggressively confronting Mark at an event he was hosting and Bravo was filming and an insider snitched to Radar about an event at the Wimbish house that was filmed for the Real Housewives of Atlanta on September 17th. The charity event was for Black Man Lab which was hosted by Mark. The insider told Radar why she was so angry at her husband. Mark told Eva Marcel's husband that he is tired of Kenya's ish the source spilled. He called her in a attention whore. The insider told Radar that Marlo Hampton 
overheard Mark talking to Eva's husband and she told Cynthia Bailey, Nene Leakes, and Eva about the conversation which Kenya overheard. The source said that Kenya was furious with her husband's words and their ugly confrontation was caught on camera. Mark just doesn't want to be on TV. It's plain and simple, the insider told Radar. Kenya was shouting all sorts of threats at Mark and the cameras kept rolling. Their troubled relationship was no surprise to the insider. Now this may give you a little bit of insight as to how Mark is still feeling about Miss Kenya Moore. On his Instagram page yesterday, he posted this picture and he says, As a person of color, it is of paramount importance for me to showcase the positive aspects of my people, hence the reason for my involvement in the Black Man's Lab experience. Unfortunately, my genuine attempt at doing something positive was compromised by my personal situation. For that, I sincerely apologize and take sole responsibility. I want to thank all those involved with the Black Man's Lab for their support after the event. I would like to end by saying I have full admiration for the organization and am always available to engage and contribute to its efforts. Best wishes, Mark Daly. But dang, Kenya still didn't get no acknowledgement. Girl, that man is not into you. Now, while I personally believe that something big did happen between Mark and Kenya that night, I cannot say that I believe Kenya actually went off on Mark. Kenya just does not seem like Mark would be the person she would go off on. We've seen her go off on everybody else, but it's something about Mark. Kenya will get like a little church mouse in the corner, honey. She's just scared of that man. I don't know what he's done to her. This woman is just afraid to be alone, but all this mouth you see Kenya has with everybody else when it it comes to Mark, she's like, I agree. I would never divide a couple, so I want you guys both there. Um, Kenya agrees. I agree. I love it when she's Ken, because Ken shuts the f up. Like Nene said, this Ken is the Ken that she likes, honey. That Kenya don't nobody like her, but everybody likes Ken. Now, while we're speaking of Nene Leaks, child, this drama that's going on between Nene and Kenya, I just can't take it no more. Is getting to be outrageous and the way these two women are acting towards each other on screen is absolutely embarrassing especially during Black History Month. I understand what it was about because I've been in this really love hateful relationship with her and all the hate is coming from her you know it's, it's so much and you know she tried to get me fired before I was even hired on the show I just think that she's always been very intimidated by my presence on the show and when I was not on the show I was still being talked about maybe those scenes didn't make it on the show but I was still being, You're talked, still about. being talked about I was still relevant and so that bothered her was she the reason that you hesitated coming back I wouldn't give her that much credit really absolutely how do you feel about her now I don't have a feel what do you mean just what I said she is speaking openly in the press now we're very good for her continue to speak very openly you know she's the one who's not friends with people she has allies did so. she spit in your face she tried to act like she was going to spit on me and you will see that on the show I didn't spit on her but I sort of kind of wished I had I'm just gonna be honest about that because I just think some of the things that Kenya says is really nasty and really dirty and I just feel like girl you are just I you probably need to be spit on you just probably need to be. And it may not sound great, but she probably needs to be spit on. And I have no sympathy for her. I just don't. So why does it look like you're spitting on her in that clip? Because I do the act of like, I ought to, and I say the words off on you like that. So of course she wanted to run with it, and that's fine with me, I don't care, girl. Run with it, I hope that, I, I mean, I only wish that I had spit on you, girl. I know what it is. She wants to, and that's why she tried so hard to tell people she's the HBIC, she's the this, she's the originator, oh, the real premiere just starts. And in fact, her presence now is not impactful at all. She's missed out on at least four to five episodes this season. So that clearly means that the network is sending you a message. You're not as important as you think you are. What about her saying that they're cutting you out of episodes? Well, how does she know? I mean, does she, you know, is she in production? I mean, I don't know. I don't know why she says the things that she say, but what I do know is 
for whatever reason. I don't know how it sounds. I don't know if it even sounds great to even say, but I think that she would love for me to be gone so she could be, in her mind, the head of the show or the queen of the show or the one that everyone is talking about. With me there, it's very difficult for her to have that kind of thing. So, and I also think that if I leave the show and Kenya stays on the show, she will be the demise of the show. Now, in my honest opinion, I don't think this show or any reality show in general is good when it comes to new relationships and definitely new marriages. Kenya says that she has million dollar companies. So in all honesty, I don't feel like she needed this show if what she was saying is the truth. Now, I feel like her marriage should have been put on the forefront, but maybe she was already feeling what we have been seeing. And it's that that man just is not into you, sis. Now, if you were more concerned with him and less concerned with Nene, hey maybe things would have worked out for you but I honestly just feel like these reality shows are tearing down us black people y'all what I need to do is hear from you what do you think about Kenya deleting her last name and now just going by Kenya Moore do you think it's finally over between her and Mark or do you think sis just wants some attention y'all let me know what you think you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye now before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out AshKicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.